Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over my Notion notebook setup. So last week I showed you how I take notes on Notion, so I wanted to show you how I create the notebook that holds the notes, if you get my gist. So this is a full school setup and tutorial with a lot of different functions, so let's just get into it. And before I started, I wanted to show you that this is a tab inside of a tab. It's only for one subject, not the full notebook. So the first thing we're going into is the initial setup. I do this for every single Notion tutorial, so if you haven't seen it already, hello, nice to meet you, you're probably new. So the first thing you're going to do is just change that wallpaper simply by clicking on the wallpaper button and then we click those right hand side buttons, those three buttons on the right hand side, change the font to whatever you like and make sure you're enabling small text and full width. And then from there, this is my last tutorial, I know, heartbroken, until 2023 when I changed my dashboard. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys see all of the parts of my tutorial notion making. And this includes adding a rough draft of what I want to include. So this is everything that's going to be included here. And now we're just going to go over some key functions of notion, which is dragging, dropping to make columns. So instead of using the column button, you can just drag a block until you see a blue line there and it will move. You can also resize images by hovering your mouse over the image until a little black bar pops up and then you can drag and resize it similarly to how you would do Google Docs. So let's get into the actual tutorial. Our directory setup and a toggle function setup which is what I've covered before but what you're going to do first is make sure your directory is written how you like it. I like to write things in you know really small aesthetic font but that's up to you. Now to change the actual like highlighting and font, you can just highlight the text and a little in like input UI will pop up and you can just change the way whatever you like, you know, want to add it. I don't know. I like to have a brown highlight and italicize it, but that's really up to you. And then from here, you're just going to include whatever you want to be in your toggle list. And from there, you're going to just turn into, so you're going to turn that text into a toggle function. So you can scroll down and it says toggle or toggle heading one, heading three, etc. I think I chose a heading three toggle because it's like kind of big, but not that big. Um, and everything you just added will be fall, will be fall, <laughs> will fall underneath that toggle section. So hopefully that helps when you're making toggles or little UIs. And from here, we're moving on to a to-do list database. So please ignore the rough status that is this notion. Trust me, it'll all get pulled together just like you saw in the thumbnail. But what we are going to do is avoid clicking that to-do list button. That is not really aesthetic or cute. We're going to instead insert a table. And from here, I'm just editing it to what I like to do. I like to have a tab where I can insert my assignments, a tab where I can insert tags for those assignments, i.e. like what subject, what unit. And then I also like to have a to-do list check button or text box whatever like category and then I also like to add a in progress button or status which is something that's really cool about notion you can add the status of your you know projects or whatever you're working on so that you know that maybe you're working on something but you didn't finish it you can indicate it here I really just think that this is such a better alternative to using the to-do list button and it looks so much better now, of course, I edited the tabs to how I like it, and I just filled it in so you guys know what it looks like once it's filled in. And now we can move on to a Spotify playlist in bed, which you guys have been asking me about for some time now. This is relatively easy, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys do not click audio and instead click embed so you can have a dynamic uh, picture or frame. If you click audio, you won't be able to control it that much. And then you're going to go on Spotify, click share, and get that embed link and just paste it here. And there you go, you have a dynamic Spotify playlist. It will not play all of the songs like to full length. I think it only gives you 30 seconds. And here you can see my study playlist of the month, which you would have seen if you checked out X's resources, which is where you can can get this template so make sure that you're checking out my resources page so that you can have all the links to all my templates and stay in the know of what are my favorite things and what's trending um, and from here we're moving on to a page linking tutorial which is important to have for a notebook so a lot of you may be wondering how are you going to use this for a notebook and here is the main functional place so you're going to click the plus button and then click this page button here this will allow you to link a page within a page within a page you can do it a million times but what it does is make sure that you can have kind of a flippable notebook where you can flip through all of your units and then you're going to just click on the page and press rename or you can rename it when the page opens i just thought it would be faster to do it this way and i took my time and just renamed every single one of these pages 
Then I went ahead and changed the icon. You can just click on the ugly icon that it starts with and then you can add a custom one or one of Notion's 100 million icons. I added little notebooks because this is supposed to be a literature notebook. And yeah, that's about it. Now we're going to go into what makes Notion aesthetic because a lot of you guys may not have a aesthetic Notion so far, but don't worry, trust me, I promise. We're just going to add small details that really will change the look of your Notion. And as you can see here, I'm going to be completely transparent. I don't know what my plan is. I don't have a little sketchbook. I just play around with it and I go on Google, find cute images and add them. So again, to add an image, you just press the plus image. You can add those GIFs, add on. You can add GIFs to your Notion, however you, whatever you like. And from here, what I like to do to make my Notion aesthetic is one, I want to highlight my height, my headings, highlight my titles, and two, play along with the italicized slash spacing of things. So as you can see, I write in lowercase, which really just adds a softer vibe, not really yelling at you. And I like to play with the formatting. I like to add a lot of div dividers divide direct guys i can't speak i'm sick <laughs> but i like to add a lot of dividers and things like that and last but not leastly i'm just going to go over the calendar tutorial which is fairly easy you're just going to go and click that calendar button now if you would like to add tags to your calendar that is all up to you i don't recommend adding tags to your calendar because you do not need tags on your calendar i like to have a very raw bland calendar so that when i just add my events or my homework assignments or my projects it'll just be there and easy to view Honestly, this section is kind of optional, but this is a small table of contents that's not actually a table of contents, and you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm just showing you how to insert a table. I think tables make up tables, guys. <laughs> I think tables make things a lot of a lot more aesthetic oh my god i'm not re-recording this i always say that um but what you can do is just play around with your table format i included this for your units so that you can view your units as you wish like as it goes on i actually like to use this subsection to cross out what i'm done and what i've completed already and once we get through that we are pretty much done this is my final setup I, I like i said in the beginning of this tutorial this is my last one for the year you won't get another one until 2023 so i wanted to be completely transparent with my setup and just really show you how it goes a lot of it involves me finding cute images online really having an aesthetic and coordinated uh, theme can really make your notion look better and then i just play around with different databases and tables like it's not like i have a picture or that i know what to do i just like to have something that i can go over and go over like a simple general idea of um whether that be playing around with the template or playing around with you know moving things around or silly quotes like i just did here but that about does it for this notion tutorial hopefully it helped you if if it didn't we do have a playlist i link it down in the description of many other notion tutorials that you can use and i will catch you all next week thanks